grey semi autumn day here in South Wales. Um, the next video will show you the software for this uh, DR1802 uh, DMR radio. But uh, just before we go into that, um, I have seen a couple of comments about these radios and Bayofeng radios in general, you know, just another piece of junk. I think that's a little bit unfair. Build quality on these is quite good. Um, the main problem with these radios is the um, the operating interface. These are not going to be upgradable, the firmware. You're not going to be able to use OpenGD77. Um, the way this firmware is structured, it's, it's not ideal for our uses. It's probably aimed at the commercial market. Added to which, this is a UHF only radio. It's actually very sensitive on UHF. It's better than the dual banders the ones that I have anyway maybe that shouldn't be a surprise so it's ideal if you're operating to a hotspot but the limitations are the um, the operating system basically and again although in theory it sounds nice this has got a color screen and even in this light the screen is actually active I don't even know if you can see it in uh, sunlight it's it's pretty useless to be honest you're better off with a monochrome LCD but let's have a look at the software and how we write the data to the radio and read from the radio. Um, you can see here it is. I'll just drag the icon over here. DR1802 CPS. There it is. I'll double click as usual and we'll open it up. Now, if you've used the DR1801, that is the latest. Um, dual band DMR radio, the one that cannot be upgraded to OpenGD77. Uh, this may look fairly familiar, it certainly looked familiar to me. Now, confusingly this software, uh, when you open it, is called BF1802 and the BF1802 is the analog uh, radio. So that's odd, isn't it? Someone in Bofeng really doesn't care how they classify these model names and the software let's try opening a file um, there was one that I made a little while ago when I got the software but didn't actually have the radio so there it is okay so at least I can demonstrate what the software looks like now Got the device information, 400 to 470 megahertz um, frequency coverage. Got a firmware version and our last program date. Basic configurations of the radio. So I've got my call sign and um, the DMR ID programmed in here. Language is English. Um, TX timeout set, well, if you're a rag chewer, you might want to make that a bit longer. Normal squelch. CTCSS tail revert, not sure what that is. You can see I've got a zone called gateway here with some frequencies in it. Just the one zone. Got some contacts programmed in here. This was the problem I had trying to program contacts from the radio itself as I could not select whether something was a group or an individual call. It's much easier to do it, um, you know, in the software. You can just click the radio button. So let's see if we can write this to the radio and then read it back. We seem to have an issue um, communicating with this radio. So let's go to COM9. And we'll write to the radio. Now, please confirm I do. Now, the radio straight away is it's come up, it's saying writing, so that looks good. Right, says it was righted successfully. Now, I'm not quite sure about the grammar on that. Uh, radio's rebooted. And indeed, we've got some um, channels uh, programmed in. 
and um, when I look at the the zone I've got a zone called gateway so that's fine so we can write to the radio we had problems reading from it remember but maybe that's because effectively there was nothing on it so we'll have a look at programming a channel up and um, now this <clears throat> this gateway frequency I am using my um, TYT MD9600 mobile DMR um, I've set up a high power hotspot it's not often switched on but I've got the frequencies programmed in here but for the most part for DMR I'm going to be using uh, my uh, little um, Raspberry Pi based hotspot so I need to put some channels in for that so let's create a channel and we we'll create a digital channel we'll just do one here so we need to go to edit we can now put in the frequency it's a shame um, some of the uh, older um, programming uh, software had a little button here you could um, automatically populate the, the RX frequency so that it was the same as the TX frequency this one doesn't have that little convenience I'm not going to add uh, anything to a scan list I don't want high power if I'm dealing with my hotspot so I'll untick that I'm not sure what that is the PTT state so we just leave it all as always that is the default slot doesn't matter with a uh, hotspot but just for the sake of argument I'm gonna put it on time slot 2 I'm gonna select a contact I'm gonna put the uh, UK call in channel in as a contact see we need to give this uh, a name so we're gonna call it uh, UK call because it's on the uh, UK calling uh, talk group right um, so we've got a frequency we don't want a scan list we've got a contact we've got a slot color code here we want one so that uh, uh, corresponds to uh, our um, hotspot you've got opportunity to encrypt here well we don't want to encrypt so we leave that blank and uh, we'll okay that so that's fine we've got a digital channel in there now we need to put that into a zone so we had a gateway zone that was for the high power uh, gateway or hotspot but I'm gonna create a new zone for my hotspot and uh, comes up as zone one I'm gonna call it hotspot And at the moment, the only thing I'm going to add to it is this. Uh, you, that's the only um, channel on the right frequency we've got for it. I need to add that. So how do I add that? Move to list. There it is. Okay. And I don't want this one here. So I can remove that channel. So now uh, in my gateway you can see on the right these are the channels in my gateway hotspot gateway zone rather in my hotspot zone I've just got that UK call channel <clears throat> I need to look at receive group list unfortunately you don't have all this bother with open GD 77 this is something you need to look at we need to have a receive group receive group one has got 2350 in it so I'm just gonna go back and check my channels now and remember this one let's just check that we had a receive group uh, set here I didn't know without that I'm not going to hear anything so I'm going to set receive group one okay there <coughs> pardon me so that's receive group one and I'm also going to now add another channel so that I can test the radio we're going to call this echo for the echo test or the parrot uh, facility uh, channel where it doesn't matter is it channel space in there but whatever we don't want high TX power this is this is a uh, ah, right okay so this is come up as an analog channel uh, there's a problem right okay let's close up we don't want that type create channel 
I created their own sort of channel and I need to create a digital channel so that's one to watch out for um, so when I did this one four three nine point three Oh, I did uh, okay. Uh, no, okay. Four three nine point three. I can't do anything about that. We don't want high power. Um, slot two. Not really important. There we are. Nine 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 zero. That's the contact we want. Um, receive group. Don't we need a receive group for that one because it's a private call. And we'll okay that. So now if we go back into our zone list, we need to add that to the hotspot zone. So we're going to do that one and we're going to move our channel to the list. And that should be okay. So we'll go back and look at our basic configuration. Let's make sure there's nothing else we want to change there. It looks all right at the moment. So we battery signal and leave it alone uh, siren warning light so many siren we don't really want um, any alarm but it doesn't seem that we can uh, do anything about that so we've only got a few contacts programmed in here at the moment scan list we're not going to worry about channels we can program up these side buttons to do various things. Um, we're not going to really bother with scanning. So what else can we have? High, low power, zone up, zone down. That could be useful, I guess. Box on off, digital monitor. Not sure what that is unless that's a kind of promiscuous uh, mode thing. Uh, let's put it to digital monitor. Then. Emergency, we're not going to want, are we? Um, so, I know power. Let's put his monitor. That one's on monitor. Okay, well, you can see that these are the various functions that you can program these up for. One touch access, menu reset time. Think you can lock the menu out on the radio so people can't uh, alter any of the channels so let's write this to the radio I haven't done much but we're going to write it over to the radio and that's it written okay so that's a quick look at the software